Greetings, my name is Bohdana Periviznik. I am a certified anesthesiologist and intensive care doctor affiliated with Ternopil National Medical University. I would like to share with you the story of having a dream of becoming a doctor and actually becoming it. I've started my uh, pathway in 2012 uh, when I've entered Ternopil State Medical University, which through few years actually turned to another top ranking list of medical universities in Ukraine. Currently, I am a practicing physician in Ternopil University Hospital and I would like to share my best experience at my alma mater at the university, which gave me the best opportunities that helped me to start my career. Currently, we are located in the simulation center TESIMED, which is a structural center of Ternopil National Medical University. This center was created in 2016 as a practical base for the students to have their practical and clinical classes over here. The main goal of the center to give the best opportunity of um, getting practical skills during the whole studying process in medical university, starting from the very basic nursing classes up to the more advanced clinical trainings like uh, in anesthesiology and emergency medicine. TESIMED Simulation Center of the Ternopil National Medical University is also offering different postgraduate programs. It's one of the leading centers to provide the professional training for the specialist in emergency medicine, anesthesiology and intensive care. We are located in the practical station of the simulation center where students of different faculties from different courses can obtain practical skills at the station of the potency of the airways. At this station, uh, students can learn such practical skills as placing the uh, nasopharyngeal uh, airway, different types of oropharyngeal airways, also more advanced types of providing the potency of airways, like LMA, laryngeal mask airway, different sizes of it, different types of the, it, as well as eye gel, and one of the most important and most advanced uh, procedure and practical skill for anesthesiologists and intensive care physicians. This is the endotracheal intubation using the laryngoscope and using the endotracheal tube. This is the, one of the most important skills which are needed in order to save the patient's life. Here we see the uh, mannequin for the uh, advanced pr surgical procedure, which is called the surgical airways. In case if the uh, potency of the airways cannot be delivered and provided by uh, LMA, endotracheal tube and endotracheal intubation through the different ways of placing uh, oropharyngeal airways, etc., we need to move uh, to more advanced technique, which is the cricothyrotomy. It means that this is the surgical procedure of the providing the airway tube into the trachea. We also uh, can learn bamboo back mask ventilation. In this station the students can learn how to properly ventilate the patient and provide a proper perfusion of his organs and systems. Right now we are observing the practical station for the such practical skill as providing the intraosseous access. This is the procedure that is delivered to a patient in case of the emergency setting and especially in the case if the patient is not uh, able to have the peripheral IV line inserted. This uh, access is available as the IV line because the bioavailability of the drugs in case of the IO or intraosseous access is the same as for the IV access, 100%. Currently, the students uh, are having the practical class and they are learning how to provide a proper CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation according to the ALS protocol, advanced life support. Currently students are making chest compressions of a good quality 
and um, MBU back ventilation. Here we see that our patient is monitored and on the cardiac monitoring we observe that the patient is having the, the specific rhythm which is the ventricular tachycardia. Ventricular tachycardia is the rhythm that requires defibrillation as the first step in order to put the patient back to life. We are located in the auditorium for practical training of obstetrics and gynecology. There are different types of practical skills that are obtained uh, over here. First of all, this is the bimanual examination and speculum examination. Second one, this is the palpation of the breast, which is also a part of the obstetrics and gynecology program. And the last one, this is actually the labor, the delivery of the baby. At this auditorium, we have both practical classes and also the OSCE exam, which is a very important part of the medical training here in Ukraine. Basic nursing skills are also extremely important for both either doctors and nurses. At this auditorium of the Simulation Center TESIMED, students of different courses have an opportunity to learn basic nursing skills. What are they? The catheterization of the peripheral veins. So how the uh, IV catheter should be placed properly. How to provide an intramuscular injection for the administration of drugs. Next one, this is the proper transfusion of the blood and its components. Additional nursing skills that will be learned over here as a practical part of the training is the catheterization of the urinary tract in males. This is the mannequin for this procedure and also some additional nursing skills that are much needed in order to take a good care of a patient. First of all, it's the nursing care for the tracheostomy, colonostomy. At this mannequin, we can also perform the female catheterization of the urinary uh, bladder, and we can also learn how to auscultate, palpate, and examine our patient. Me and my students are located in the Pediatric and Neonatology Unit. Right now we are gonna work on the practical session of the Pediatrics and Neonatology. And right now my students will perform and learn how to provide good practical skills of practical care to a baby. So right now my student will uh, perform a practical skill of blood pressure measurement in a small baby. There are multiple opportunities for medical students who are from Ukraine and from abroad to experience the best of medical education in Ukraine.